worry about your children. You worry that they aren't practicing enough, they aren't doing schoolwork enough, and then they won't get into a, a good school, and then they won't get into a college, and they won't get a good job, and then they die. <laughs> <laughs> Now you have the same disease that your friend Joe has, which is that you look at your fingers all the time. Do you need to look at your fingers, do you think? No, I don't think so. If your eyes were freer, you could take in the audience. This piece is not a march. This is a love song. Right? This is all about feeling of warm, loving friendship. So we need to sing very strongly and you give it away to the audience like that. Would you try one more time? And... Thing to do. You're very expressive when you play and you do. Da -di -da -da -di -di -da. Have you watched people skating? There are no bar lines in figure skating. They just. Ooh, ooh, like that. They go forever. There are no, they don't stop every four bars or every two bars or every one bar. They don't stop at all. Can you imagine you were playing this for a figure skater? Can you get, get in your head a picture of a beautiful woman on skates on the ice? Should we try that? Let's try it. <laughs> That's a fantastic. Well done. You get the fire. You'd have to practice violin, do your schoolwork, and practice smiling. Can you smile? Can you skip? Do you know how to skip? Should we skip together? Yeah, let's skip together. I'll take your violin. Yeah. Okay, now come back. And now smile. Now play the violin. <laughs> Keep smiling. All right. Look at this beautiful smile. <laughs> Isn't that a funny smile?
done. Beautiful. So I want, to, I want to congratulate the two teachers for their work with both these children. And I want to say a word to the mother. You're the mother, right? So mothers tend to worry. Let me ask you this question. First of all, do you think she's beautiful? Yeah, yeah, also, According to my no? husband, yeah. yes. Yeah, she's beautiful. No. How about you? No, not yet. Really? I think she's gorgeous. Do you think she's doing well? Not yet. Do you think she's playing the violin well? No. Okay, now let me tell you something very important. This is the most important thing I can tell you. Your worry is perpetrating itself on her. If I were you, if I were you, I would say, this is the most gorgeous child, the most wonderful child, and I have nothing but joy with her. Because if you worry about her, and you know what is going to happen, if you worry like that, she's going to grow up as a worried person instead of as a joyful person. Your job is to keep her skipping. Yes. That's the only yes. job. Yes. That's the only <laughs> job you have. You don't have any other job, right? right? You don't have it. Because she'll be serious and dedicated and hardworking and, and achieve a lot because she sees her parents doing that. She doesn't need her parents to tell her that. Okay. Because at the moment, she's finding it very difficult to smile. That's, for me, the only thing that worries me about her. She isn't smiling. She can just about skip, but she can't skip and smile. <laughs> when she can skip and smile, she'll be in good shape. So the real transformation in this room is not here, it's here. Yep. And not just you, but all your friends too. Okay. You worry about your children. You worry that they aren't practicing enough, they aren't doing schoolwork enough, and then they won't get into a good school, and then they won't get into a college, and they won't get a good job, and then they die. <laughs> <laughs> He's smiling, he's doing great. <laughs> so the worry is the thing that kills us. Uh, can you remember that? Keep us skipping and love her for just how she is perfect, perfect right now. You got that? Yeah. It's the only important lesson of the day is right here, is <laughs> for the mother. <laughs> All right, and you have fun. Okay, have fun in life because you're a wonderful girl. You've got beautiful musical talent. You're playing beautifully. Have a wonderful life.